Okay, it is 10.07 a.m. and um, <laughs> I had one trade with Netflix and I only made a tiny penny because I did not really like the way this one is trading. But in theory, it could be doing the setup I was thinking of. This is nowhere near as nice as the setup I looked at the other day when it had that gap down morning panic bounce plays you can see back here. And the idea I had with this one is that this could have been like the head of an inverse head and shoulder so this is the shoulder it had a spike and then it has a head and then ideally it makes a move towards the upside right but i just don't like how long it's taking how it's just trading back and forth around this level it doesn't mean that it's not going to work but i don't like it if it just takes way too long so i was in at 1002 and that was right here at um right when it looks like i was going to do it at 21816 and I got in right around right here because it looked like it was actually going to do with the shoulder, the head, and then maybe here the shoulder. And then, it, um, you know, starts to form the uptrend here happens and then it downtrends eventually it makes a shoulder sure. But I don't like how it was just taking too long. It was trading back and forth for a long time. I got out um, pretty petty. You know, I put a limit sell order for one penny more than what I bought it for. So I technically made a penny. And I got out at 10.04 because I just did not like the price action. It was pretty ugly. And right now it, it can do it, sure. But, you know, if this is the shoulder and the head is just so large, I just, I don't like it. It doesn't seem very nice. But um, that was the case with that. I could have traded LCLP right around here. Maybe if I was at a better state. I've been thinking about a bunch of stuff. So um, I knew to be a little uh, cautious with my trading. But I don't like it too much here. I would have liked it more if it was like a bull flag, but it did have this uptrend right here, and it did um, eventually break the high right here around this 92 level, but it did it in just one candle, and it shot all the way to one penny, which is impressive, but um, it did get me um, out of this in that I didn't trade it. It just kind of threw me off, but this offered a nice move. Maybe if I was more aggressive, I could have traded this, and then I did see the dip towards VWAP, and this one was very quick to turn around, but this could have been a move I could have taken too. But um, I think this one was a lot better. Uh, There's still very good setups, both of these. And again, maybe on a better day um, that I'm feeling better, I can be more aggressive and maybe trade a setup like that and be able to profit from it. Because both of them did work, this breakout right here. And then this dip towards VWAP. It was very quick, but... It did it, and there was plenty of opportunity to sell there for a profit. It looks like it's trying to do it now, the thing I wanted with Netflix, but it just took way too long. I didn't like how it was, like, downtrending, too. I mean, I'm in right here, and the next two candles are downtrending, right? So I wasn't a big fan of that, but maybe it can try to break this line, which would be um, 218.75-ish, the neckline in theory, and maybe it can make a move towards... 219 if it does something like that you know and then it downtrends maybe i'll consider another buy with netflix to trade the shoulder of the inverse head and shoulders but um yeah there's always more risk when you're trading a potential head of an inverse head and shoulders the shoulder and then the head right because it might not work out it might just break the low and then just continue the downtrend so it's nice to see that it's trying to do something and yeah, I'll make an update later. I probably didn't trade according to my $5 risk level either, uh, now that I think about it, but um, that's that's fine. Um, you know, it is a higher price listed stock, and I wasn't feeling the best, but I'll make an update as to whether this thing can work out or not. Okay, it is 10.19, and the thing with Netflix did not work out at all. I'm glad I took the sell when I did because it just felt like it was taking too long for it to work out but it could have it just could have been a very ugly big freaking head but um yeah I tried a little and then it just sold off at this point I'm not interested in it anymore I also want to know KGKG KG did do a morning panic bounce play I just didn't really like the stock after it had that big red day but maybe if it continues to trade more consistently morning panic bounce play setups even if it's a bit ugly looking you know, not really ideally how I like to trade them. It could still be something that I could maybe consider in the future more. Okay, yeah, this is unfortunate with LCLP. This does look like a bull flag. Now, this part didn't here, but this and this price action looks like a bull flag. But I wanted it to downtrend just a little bit more, one more time to around this 98 level. And I would have been interested in it with 10,000 shares, I believe. 
and that would have been the setup that I would have liked to have taken but it looks like it's doing it now and it makes sense I guess that it's trying to hold this one cent level but I never liked it too much because there was a lot of people at the ask what size but I guess they all got taken out or it's just a level two uh, change but now this can be interesting because it could maybe try to break the day high and do something nice and continue but I would have been in for the setup again where you know I would have been in for the bull flag and I wouldn't actually mind selling half of my position right now in case it doesn't you know try to break the day high but this setup did work out I don't mind missing it it just didn't drop to where I wanted it to be before it made the move but it makes sense because it was trying to hold this one cent level I will make it on day later maybe this can be a high day breakout setup I'd probably trade less shares because it's a wider risk but that is a possibility okay it is 10 25 it did the thing that I said in that other recording it did break the day high and I was a part of it now I did trade 5,000 shares it was I would have had to have traded something strange like 8,000 or 7,000 shares to um, trade a proper $10 risk level so I'm going to count it as if I try to trade a $10 risk level it's just that if you put in an order for a weird amount of shares like 8,000 or 7,000 it might be less likely that your order gets filled compared to something simple like 5,000, 1,000, 10,000, 25,000 so that's why I just traded 5,000 shares I was probably a little undersized for that reason but I was in LCLP at 1023 and that was right here and it looked like it was going to break this 107 level and the ideal level would have been this 109 level breaking so when it was around this level right here breaking that 107 level and now breaking 109 which is the day high at the time I got in at 108 for that reason at 1023 and I was in right here it did make a move this thing can continue to make a move i just kind of got out of it a bit quickly because i didn't like how it just started to run out of momentum and downtrend a lot but i did try to be patient in that when it started to break out and make a crazy spike the way it did i did sell most of my position at um i guess 11.5 is what i'll call it at 10.24 so right here at the very top of this candle i sold most of my position and then when it looks like it was starting to struggle and not look so good, like if it was going to flash a big red candle, which it did, but not really as big as I thought it would have been, that's when I sold the other portion of the trade, and that was the same minute at 11.4. I did have a you know, very low um, limit price. I just wanted to get out, but worst case, you know, break even if that were to have happened, and you know, I didn't want to play around with my limit order and try to get the very tippy top and, you know, I place an order at 114 and then it's at 112 and my order sitting and it starts downtrending. I didn't want to be a part of that. I just threw in a very low limit price so that it would get out pretty quickly and that's what happened. So this thing can continue to build itself up and, you know, make a move towards the upside. But I did try to be a little bit patient with this one. In theory, maybe even a trend line from here to this candle right here. It would have been struggling right there, but, you know, maybe I could have sold half of my position or most of my position when it was at 115 here. And then draw a trend line, a realistic trend line. You know, once it had a move towards the upside, then it came back. And then you drew, um, draw a trend line based off of that, right? So maybe a little, little bit more like this, perhaps. And then get out if it breaks the trend line and you know give yourself an opportunity to sell the other piece for much higher if it continues the option so that could be the idea with that that was a trade there with lcop i'm glad i traded something that worked and it wasn't like a puny one penny gain <laughs> with netflix here so i'll make an update as to what this does i'll continue to look for setups but um, that's it for right now Okay, it is 11.57 p.m. and I am here to call it off overall. I am up on the day $3.26 and that was a scratch trading Netflix. The setup did not work out, which was way back here. It did downtrend some more. It did turn around ultimately, but I didn't see any really clean, consistent patterns anymore. And I didn't want to really try it again after the first time I tried. Didn't work out. And again, it wasn't as clean as the setup the other day. And then I had that trade with LCLP that did work out. 
the high day breakout and uh, this thing does not show it anymore because it's almost the next day but I did take the trade way back into this 1023 level it's like I need to sign into E-Trade again it was way back here at 1023 I don't know why but the charts on E-Trade Pro started to work again and I can zoom in I take that back <laughs> I don't understand the charts sometimes but um yeah it was a high day breakout that I took right here ideally I would have liked to have been a part of this move right here but I mean that's totally fine um I did also try to trade a $10 risk level with this setup too the one that I did take and I need to keep getting better in that sense and um I actually look forward to next week maybe upping it a little more and trading a $15 risk level and then slowly but surely trade um, larger sizes and work my way up. I just really wanted to get the groundwork with that $10 risk level, the nice round number, and be consistent in trading that amount of um, dollar risk in my setups um, the best that I can and getting more confidence. So I do look forward to that, God willing, if it keeps going well. And um, that was really about it. I mean, KGKG. KG, did do a turnaround here and you know maybe I'll consider it in the future that's really about it pretty nice with LCLP if it can continue to uptrend and wouldn't it be something better to consider anyways that's it for today and um, yeah some good lessons and I need to start um, pushing out these um, daily recaps a bit sooner I, I need to totally work on that <laughs>